Here's everything you need to know about systems of inequalities on the SAT in one problem. The problem here says Jackie has two summer jobs. She works as a tutor, which pays $12 per hour, and she works as a lifeguard, which pays $9.50 per hour. She can work no more than 20 hours per week, but she wants to earn at least $220 per week. Which of the following systems of inequalities represents the situation in terms of X and Y, where X is the number of hours she tutors and Y is the number of hours she works as a lifeguard? First thing we want to do is define our variables. She has two jobs, so the first one would be X, that's going to be tutoring hours. And the second one is a lifeguard. So it's going to be lifeguard hours. And now we need to set up our two equations. Let's do one at a time. And it's helpful when you do these to look at the final stat that they give you. So she can work no more than 20 hours per week. It's going to be one. But she wants to earn at least 220 per week. And we have different things going on here. First is no more. So if it says no more, that means it's going to be less than or equal to, because it can be that number, but not more than it. So it's less than or equal to 20. And it's talking about hours per week. So we have X and Y, those are the hours of her job. So it's gonna be X plus Y is less than or equal to 20, because the hours they work cannot be more than 20, but they can be equal to 20. The next equation is gonna be based off of earning at least 220 per week. The key thing here is earn at least at least means you're going to make that amount or more. So it's going to be greater than or equal to 220. And the amount you make is equal to the hours you work times the rate. So tutoring, she makes 12 an hour. So it's going to be 12x. Plus, with lifeguarding, she makes 950 an hour plus 9.5y. So the money she makes with tutoring and the money she makes with lifeguarding is going to be equal to or more than 220. So our answer here is going to be C.